big changes taking place down at the New Life Mission, and that's because it's no longer called the New Life Mission. We have Stan Duick and Regan Wilson joining us today uh, with some important uh, changes coming to uh, your organization. Welcome back to the show. Thank you, Susan. New Life Community Kamloops. That's right. That's the new name. This is a big deal. Where did this all come from, Stan? Well, I think it goes, it goes back about a year and a half or a little more. We got together with some of the board members. Uh, uh, Regan was on the committee. I was. Uh, I, we just looked at... at what the mission was, uh, what it had been for the past number of years, where we thought it was going, and, and uh, were we happy with that? So it was just a matter of revisioning, refocusing. And, and what kept, kept coming out more and more was the fact that um, so often, whether Regan gives a tour or I give a tour around there, uh, you know, we hear over and over and over again, people are saying, wow, I had no idea you did this, or I had no idea you did that. Mm -hmm. and, and I mean, we're so much more than a soup kitchen. Uh, and so we thought, well, the, 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 the word mission really, uh, it, it, it's that connotation of, of, of a soup kitchen, of a men's rescue center. And we just, we wanted people to know that we, it's for everybody. It is, it's, for the, it's for the hidden homeless. It's for the, you know, it, it's for the working poor. It's, it's for the street people, without a doubt. But we want them all to feel welcome. We want them to feel safe. Uh, and it's not just about giving them a bowl of soup. It's about helping them get healthy, helping them get well, helping them take a step forward. That's what we want to do. I mean, we have the dental that's, that's so busy there. We have the, the health center there. We have recovery upstairs that's been, if not full, very close to full for the past year or so. And, and uh, we have the hair salon downstairs that we use. And, you know, we have the thrift store that, you know, I, I, I don't even forget about sometimes. My office is right upstairs. But, I mean, the, the thing is, there's so much going on. We've always thought of ourselves as community. Uh, and so really it was pretty simple matter just to add the word community to the end of new life. I mean, new life is what we are, what we want to be, uh, but we are a community. We have a whole lot of things going on. We're, we're a small community in the center of a, of a community of Kamloops. Uh, we, we feel really good about that. We feel really good about the work that we do. And, and we just want the people to know that we're not changing. There's nothing about us has changed. We still have a big sign out uh, at the day room that's the day room and the mission. Uh, we love that part of who we are, and, and it'll never change, but, you know, we're so much more than that. Yeah. Regan, let's talk a little bit about where things are at in terms of numbers being up. I'm only assuming because it's so much colder outside than it was just even a few months ago or a month ago mm -hmm. that you're seeing more people. You've also expanded your hours uh, in the last little bit. Can you talk about that? Yeah, for sure. Definitely the colder weather brings in a lot more people. So we're seeing, like, right off the bat, 30, 40 people at the door. Um, all day long we have people there. So when it's cooler, you know, they kind of come and go, but right now they're... They're there for the day, kind of. And when you guys get to work in the morning, there's already a lineup at times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's people already waiting to come in, and you know we open at eight o'clock, and we're open till six o'clock at night. So, so that's a pretty long, and it's a it's, it's a long place, a long time for people to be someplace, but for some that don't have no place to be, so it's perfect for them. Yeah. So people are able to stay from eight o'clock in the morning until six o'clock at night if they so choose that entire ten hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. we, we take a break at, at lunchtime when, when, when some of the guys come downstairs for lunch at 11.30. But then the chapel is open. Uh, there's something going on there, whether it's a video or somebody coming in to speak. And we'll do the same thing for about a half an hour at dinner time. But, but other than that, it's, it's wide open to them. They can come and they can go. Uh, it becomes just a real social place for a lot of them. I mean, mm. uh, they're there. And the other thing that's, that's, that's happened as a result is because we're open seven days, we've had to go to two outreach worker positions. Uh, so they work, you know, 10-hour shifts, four on, four off. And, and they have a lot more time to sit down and get to know these people one-on-one, -on -one, uh, find out what's really going on in their lives, what their real needs are. Uh, I, I think the last number I saw, we had helped 32-plus people find housing through other agencies around town. Uh, you know, we've helped other people find, connect up with other social service agencies around town, whether it's mental health, uh, whether it's addiction services, uh, we do that. But we, now we have the time to actually sit down with them, get to understand who they are, what their needs are. You know, the one guy we talk about quite often is, you know, he's just a young guy. He was three years on the street and he had no social assistance coming in. He had no chance for housing. He had no ID. And so when they found this out, it's a matter of putting him in front of the computer and, and answering some questions. And, you know, we got him, got him registered at social services and then got him in and, and uh, you know, he got his first check and, and I'm not sure he has housing yet, but he certainly was on the name for housing uh, or on, on the list for housing and it changed his life. And we really want to become open, available and life changing. And that's, that's going to be our logo. I mean, open longer hours, but, but more open to the people, more mm -hmm. open to their needs, mm -hmm. you know, available to what, what it is that they need and, mm -hmm. and life changing as a result. So much more than a stopgap. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. What do you want people to know going to the Christmas season? 
Uh, I think what we'd like to know that is, um, you know, we're, we are open, just like we're talking about, like we are open and available for people. Uh, our community pays a big, plays a big role in helping us pull that off, so um, we need to know that. Um, and that the fact is that we are so much more than just that soup kitchen, but that, that is the meeting place where people come and from there we do all that stuff. So, and we couldn't really do without the help of the community either. Mm -hmm, yeah. For sure. Um, there's always a call for more clothing and more blankets and more supplies. And at Christmas, does that change? Is there a change in what you need? Or I don't think so. I think our Christmas campaign just, just hit the mailbox here uh, probably last week, actually. And, and uh, we want everybody to know that, you know what, I mean, 41% of, of what comes in our doors is directly from the community in one way or another, whether it's whether it's a campaign. Christmas campaign is by far our biggest campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it's, you know, things like Coldest Night of the Year that we run every year, those kinds of things. Uh, it's really big and it's really important and we just couldn't do what we do without that. And so it is that time. I mean, the Christmas campaign is by far our biggest campaign, so that's really important. The other stuff, uh, we... We, we put out a call for blankets a while ago, and, and, and we, we were inundated with blankets. We had them, the, the, the mission was full, the outreach was full, the thrift store was full. We had to finally had to say, like, whoa, stop, stop. Is that we, right? just, we just couldn't hold Impressive. anymore. But yeah. now that it's wet, now that it's cold, and, and obviously they're, they're going out the door again pretty fast. Mm -hmm. You know, turkeys, I mean, we use turkeys year round. If we got you know, no other meat in the building, we usually sure. have turkeys kicking around somewhere. And this mm -hmm. is the time when you buy them, right? Thanksgiving, Christmas yes. time. And so those kind of things, we can always use those, that, that, those sorts of things. Coats, warm coats, always important. Mm -hmm. Mitts, socks, uh, we go through a lot of them this time of the year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it, it still comes down to, you know, we still need the resources to, to, run, to run it the way we, we know that we can. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that we can do more with the help of the community. And, and they've been amazing, so no, no question about that. And lastly, just before we take a break, a uh, new website to go along with this, uh, newlifecamloops.ca, is that That's right? right? Yeah. Yes. So is that up and running now? Uh, mm -hmm. People can go and access that, or is yes, it still it is. in the works? Yes, it is. Ready yeah. to go? Yeah. Fantastic. It, it is yeah. up. Well, you know what? You guys are doing great work down there, and I think it's a great uh, name change. It's a, a bigger umbrella that serves the needs of all of the, it sort of serves the example of all the things that you're doing there. So uh, yeah. it sounds like you guys are headed in a great direction right now. You're great. Thank you, yeah. Susan. Thanks you're for awesome. being here. Hey, you uh, newlifecamloops.ca, that is the new name there. New Life Community Camloops. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.